Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an ex. Super happy to bring you another episode of One Piece, this time doing episode 994. Uh, it looks to be an interesting episode. I don't want to spoil anything, but I have a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. No, but seriously, I, I think this episode is the one I've been waiting for. Uh, don't ask how I know, I just have a feeling. And the comments and the descriptions are always revealing. And if I even spend one second too long on the screen, I just automatically read it naturally from past experience. Anyway, thank you to everybody who's watching. I really appreciate you guys. And as always, big, big shout out to the patrons. I mean, without you, I, I really would have a lot less motivation to keep doing this. But, you know, big shout out to past, present, and future patrons. Shout out to the people watching on YouTube. And as always, remember to support the original content creators because without them, we don't get to have this great time. Uh, last episode was really a very, very, like, filler, slow, kind of meandering episode where we were moving towards things, but definitely with a lot of added scenes and a lot of things that weren't necessary, I think. However, I do like to get to see certain things like uh, Kanjuro versus Kikunojo. And it looks like that's going to lead farther in this episode based on the title. But anyway, this is episode 994. I don't want to harp on you guys forever chatting. If you want to chat with me about the episodes, we can chat in Discord in the comments below. Come watch us live stream on Twitch, which we're now doing at twitch.tv slash 3D reactions with an X. And yeah, it should be a great time, guys. Let's get into it. No. Look at his sweat. I love his voice actor too, honestly. You know, we always, are they still bending? Yes, they're still bending their fucking heads through the ceiling. That's so funny. All right, all right. Uh, look at it is breaking. They're breaking it. That's so good. That's nice little attention to detail, honestly. We have an idea of of what the weapons are, but not how they're really gonna play into the last part of this. This is so great. I can't believe they did it. Sorry, let me wait so I stop celebrating prematurely. I'm pretty sure you've more than paid it back at this point, but... You know. Vengeance never really ends, right? That's the thing, getting revenge doesn't fulfill anything. Unfortunately, I'm not saying don't get revenge, I'm just saying... I love Kaido for some of this, though, man. I gotta say, I know he's still a piece of shit. This is so good. I'm gonna be happy the whole episode. I don't even care what else happens. Look at that. Did you see that? That's straight up like a retainer. That thing is so impressive. I love. He's too. This is great. Yes, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Okay, enough celebrating the death of a man. Okay, maybe a little bit more. I've been. Oh my god, they actually kind of show it. Oh, wow! Hey, they showed the blood! Now's the time to make that choice, by the way. They're so cold. I love how, like, heartless and realistically they just don't give no fucks. They are straight bad to the bone. Ooh. 
Buddha. He's right too. Unfortunately, he he don't, you know, at this point he don't need him. So, I mean, you make the argument that maybe he does. Oh, he's imagining his head on the floor. Oh, okay, back to filler. I'm fairly certain this is filler. Not not saying it's bad or any of that. Just saying I don't believe this is main plor story plot, right? Like. It's cool to see, though. We get to see a lot more of uh, Conjuro's abilities, I feel like. Like that? I don't feel like we've got to see him do that. Hair stuff, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh now you remember. I'm not giving him the great actor award. But he's a slick little liar in the moment. Come on. I feel like it might be. Is it my incredible acting talent? Cal yeah. He had already told you all of this. It already straight up to your face. Told you. If somebody tells you to your face they're gonna do something, believe them. I beg of you. If someone tells you they're gonna stab you, they're gonna shoot you, any of that? Oh, she actually blocked it. Nice. Ooh, the red sword. Believe them, okay? That's a pretty good line there, actually. It was just a drawing. I still think it's a drawing. I feel like this is not what I remember. That scene looks good though. With them on the stage, that looked awesome. See, this scene is really beautiful. This scene is a good addition here. Right? I just didn't think we needed a whole episode and a half of them fighting to build to it. But maybe we did. Maybe. <laughs> and there he lies. See, these scenes are pretty good. And maybe a little bit the other stuff was necessary to set it up. I just didn't think it was... They had a lot of setup for that. Is he faking it? <laughs> Five seconds! Five seconds. That's how I feel like villains should be. I need this info. Five seconds. Bang. All right, next. You. I love that he just renamed the... I love... I forgot about that. I feel like that was straight up. She's oh god, she went straight ham on the door. I love her pose. His pose. God damn it. I'm working on it, guys. <laughs> Look at it. Look at his face. Damn, that was a good ending, actually. You know, I thought at first this was going to be a very very filler filled episode however it did actually turn out to have some pretty good decent story chunks and even the stuff that i thought was maybe added or changed was not too bad i do think that the whole fight with kikinojo and Kondra was a little overextended 
Same with some of the backstory stuff, but I do see how it, it was used to write lead up into that heavy emotional scene with the Akazaya 9, and I, I can appreciate it having seen where it led to. I, I still do think it could have used a little trimming down, but I know they got to pad these episodes because they're definitely getting ready for some wild animation costs coming up. Uh, I'm guessing episode 1000, we're going to see shit kick into where... I don't want to reveal what happens, but I have a good idea of what we're going to see for episode 1000 with the way they're pacing this. So happy Rochi's dead. Oh my god, I've been telling you guys for so many episodes, it's like, I'm just waiting, I'm waiting on an episode. This was the episode. This was the episode of watch his dumb, fat head fly off his shoulders was a blessing. It honestly probably made it made my day. It, like, I immediately, when I realized that that was going on, and then when I saw it and saw how well they honestly did it for One Piece, because obviously we're not going to see, like, viscera and too much gore, but to see his head fly, blood on the blade, uh, it was really good, guys. I really enjoyed this. I would love to hear what you guys thought of it. Uh, if you want to talk with us, as always, you can come and chat with us in our Discord, link below. You can talk with us in the comments, say hi on Twitch, where we live stream these every Sunday. Or, you know, just find us on any of our social media. Uh, for the patrons, thanks again for watching. You'll have the full, uncut, full audio version of this on the Patreon. Links will be in the same place as always, and if you need help with them, you know, just let us know. For the YouTube people, you guys are beautiful. And I really appreciate you. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like. You know, if you didn't enjoy the video, I understand. I have a lot to work, to work on. And I'm working on improving myself as a person. But also as a streamer and a content creator. So any suggestions always help out. With that said, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you all. I'm Axel Grave, and we'll see you next time on Reactions with an X. One, two.